Hello, and welcome to the Lamention Patch Tuesday Security Briefing for June 2014. This is Russ Ernst, Director of Product Management for Lumention. Of the seven bulletins released today for June Patch Tuesday, two are rated critical and five are rated important. Altogether, they cover a total of 66 CVEs, but one, MS14035, remediates 59 of those CVEs. Yes, it's time for another IE cumulative update, and this should, again, be first on your list of patching priorities for June from Microsoft. Last month, IE saw a lot of activity. First, with the out-of-band patch released on May 1st, a point fix released as part of May's Patch Tuesday, and a vulnerability that was publicly disclosed by the Zero Day Initiative on May 21st. This cumulative update includes a fix for the ZDI reported vulnerability and one other publicly reported vulnerability. The ZDI reported vulnerability had a limited attack surface only impacting IE8. And since it was publicly reported, there are no active known attacks. In fact, none of the vulnerabilities in this month's release are under active attack, including these two publicly reported vulnerabilities. The second critical patch this month is MS14036. This is a far-reaching vulnerability in Microsoft Graphics component that could allow a remote code execution. The two CVEs are not currently under known attack, but the impacted software list is extensive. All versions of Windows, Office, Link, and Live Meeting. Given this extensive list of impacted applications and systems, administrators should have their test systems up to date to ensure a smooth rollout. MS14030 is a vulnerability in remote desktop that could allow tampering in legacy versions of Windows RDP. This important class bulletin is for one CVE and it was privately disclosed. The usefulness for a hacker is low and therefore attacks aren't likely. MS14031 is a vulnerability in TCP protocol that could allow denial of service in Windows Vista and newer. This is a distributed denial of service scenario that could cause machines to blue screen. MS14032 is a vulnerability in Microsoft Link 2010 and 2013 that could allow information disclosure. To exploit this vulnerability, an attacker would have to hijack a valid link meeting and resend the invite with a cross-site scripting attack. This requires a bit of social engineering, so don't accept meeting requests from unknown organizers. MS14033 is an information disclosure vulnerability in XML Core Services. Using other products, like IE, an attacker could unwittingly get someone to disclose the contents of different directories. Lastly, a vulnerability causing a remote code execution in Microsoft Word is addressed in MS14034. It impacts Office 2007 and higher. Notably, MS14036 and MS14031 impact Windows Server 2003, so this is a good time to note its impending end of life in July 2015. We're coming up on just a year out now, and because any changes to your data center environment will likely require a significant amount of planning and work, it isn't too soon to get that plan started. This has been the Lumention Patch Tuesday Security Briefing for June 2014. Thanks for joining us.